Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. My name is Leek and we continue on with the story of Dark Souls, I guess. Yeah, um, all of this... Oh my god, where is Lothric? Oh my god. Lothric, where are you? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you here? Why haven't you killed the Firekeeper? You just left, alright, whatever. Where might you be? I have no idea. Uh, actually, I don't know uh, where Lordrick actually leaves at this point of the game. Hmm, I might actually look that up, but whatever, you can post comments on below where he leaves. Um, we have a, a destiny ahead of us. Um, Again, we are in a point of game where we could actually choose to go wherever we want. Um, so yeah, uh, you could go beyond um, Undead Paris actually. Oh my god, again with the frame rate issues. So yeah, uh, forwards with Undead uh, Paris uh, where the blacksmith is. Oh my effing god. This game is so confusing at times. Alright. Every single thing is attacking us. Alright, just continue on. <laughs> I was so lucky there. <laughs> Real lucky. Alright. So yeah, you could go back to the place where the blacksmith is. Uh, where we met uh, Siegmeier of Katarina as well. And... Uh, I mentioned that there was the demon. Uh, you could actually just run past him even, and go to the uh, what is it? Dark Root Garden, I guess. So you could go there and fight the Moonlight Butterfly, but that area in itself is kind of hard, so you end up skipping most of it anyway. So I rather go there when I really have the um, skills necessary. Well, right now we could actually go there and, well, it's a choice, I guess, more or, or more or less. So yeah, we'll go into the depths, rather, because this is the area that you kinda are forced to do, or if anything, you should do this area right now. Alright. So yeah, let's do this. This is kind of a hard area as well, so this will test your um, your knowledge of combat, I guess. Even though it's full of these little hollow men, mostly, and rats and stuff like that, still uh, it, it kind of shows you how to, well, before this actually you should actually know how to deal with multiple enemies so this is an area that will test that fact kinda uh, if you are able to do it uh, if you know what to do and everything like that Do er uh, totally like if you do one little like yeah exactly little mistake here and uh, it could actually uh, end your life pretty quickly uh, for example, backtracking into areas that uh, you don't really know about that much. Uh, or at all, don't know what's behind you. Uh, things like that will actually uh, surprise you. So we, here we have some frame rate issues. I'm just trying to fix it or deal with it, I guess. So yeah, dogs as well. I mentioned rats. Where are those rats? Well, you'll see soon enough. But for now, um, we have a new kind of enemy. And that's that one over there. Oh my god, where did you come from? Alright. So yeah, him. How do we deal with him? You actually need to just fight against him. But there's also a dog. 
So what you might want to do is bait the dog out, but I think it works if you just clo go close enough, the dog should come to you. If it doesn't, then maybe you want to use a dagger. So let us do just that. You say dagger to bait it out. Man. Alright. I hate dogs. Thank you. Yeah, I hate dogs a lot. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Oh my god, it's coming. Oh my god, I got so scared. <laughs> oh my god. I think he's on the water. Yep, there he is. Alright, come on. Come on over here. Yeah, you can actually parry him. As well. I'm not sure why I'm using the shield, even though I said I shouldn't. Oh my god. He's actually quicker than you think he could be. Backstab him to pieces. Luckily, you can actually backstab him. Or her, actually. Uh, uh, from software, actually published an article, I think, or an interview that mentioned that these butcher guys are actually females and that was kind of funny in my opinion so yeah uh, I do remember when I watched uh, Northern Lions Let's Play of Dark Souls he actually mentioned that this area is kind of hard so you might want to just take the amber herb or the uh, ember, uh, fire ember, ember I think and just leave this area, there's nothing else here for you, basically. But instead of that, I'll actually change my equipment here to the rapier. And I'll just keep the shield there, uh, just in case we end up in situations where we will need it. So yeah. Alright. These dogs shouldn't attack you if you go from here so be careful I guess just walk on the edge here and they won't attack you just like this yep there you go and then we have a surprise and that's that guy over here so again i kind of want to use a shield against this one because these guys can be a pain without a shield so i'll do that this is a tight corridor here to fight so you might want to be a little bit more careful with this one but yeah, two backstabs kind of ends the whole fight there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Apparently two backstabs isn't enough. There you go. And the only thing they drop is the helmet. You must help me. Do not attack the barrels! Roll to them. Because if you attack and you attack the pyromancer here, he will attack you. Thank you. I would have been suffering without you. Been eating alive. I shall have been. Thank you. Thank you, dearly. I am Luetius. With the grace of I will not forget my dead people. Alright. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Oh, Alright, you have nothing else to say. 
So yeah, we saved him and now he will go back to Firelink Shrine and stay there. Most likely because we maybe could start using um, Pyromancy, probably. Pyromancy is kinda OP, I think, in some cases. But it's very helpful, if nothing else. So yes, this area. I hate this area. Luckily we have the master key. Um, you can see over there, up there, I guess. We say thing. If we drop here, it will drop down. And it's a thing that I apparently can't really hit. Great. How much... Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did you come from? You need to die right now. Thank you. I'll just throw some things to you. Can they come up here? I don't think so. So I will use a firebomb. In this case. Um, there you are. Firebomb! Yeah, that's actually a great way to get rid of them. Use firebombs, if nothing else, because you do so much, so little damage towards them. Or to them, I guess. I keep saying, I guess, so many times. Uh, or so much, that they kind of irritates myself as well. But keep in mind that English isn't my native language, so... While I do say I guess a lot, it's mostly because I try to um, come up with new things to say, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Alright, here's some more of these dudelets. Um, you can just run past them if you want, but they also are kinda... something that can drop. Um, Unique stuff. There you are. And by this point you might actually go back to Firelink Shrine and get a fireball attack. That as well could actually benefit you. You shouldn't be using these firebombs themselves so frequently. Yes, that's that. And I got you as well. 11,000 souls, we might as well just go to a bonfire. And if you don't have the master key, um, be prepared that you cannot actually open this door with the bonfire unit. So you need to be very careful about that area because you need to be a go quite far actually with it. So, now that we are here, I kind of don't want to go, like, backwards. So, instead what I think we will do is go through with the area. And once we are... Oh my god, the rat is actually attacking us. Man. Alright, let's go through with the area first and then backtrack when we have to. Alright, that went well. Rats! I didn't mean to use that. Great axe. Could be a useful weapon, actually. That great axe. Um, I hear it's quite good, actually. Ambush right there. And you, I want to kill. Like that. Then attack you. And you, I have no idea what this one did, but he's dead now. Sewer chamber key. Apparently that rat can spew um, blood towards us. Oh right, yeah. Actually, this is not what we actually want to do. 
I totally forgot about it. Totally did forgot about it. Uh, you might want not want to come at this direction, cause fighting against that rat can be kinda uh, hard. Well, not hard, but he can be annoying. He can basically just one hit you if he, if you're not careful, um, or just cause trouble, I guess, stagger you and stuff like that. He's a very annoying boss to fight against. And even though he's not actual, actually a boss. Alright. So I'll just backtrack here. And let's do it the way that every single Let's Player out there does it. Because that way is easier. And yeah. Why would you harm yourself or make things harder for yourself? Unless you actually... Of course, <clears throat> for example, the copper demon that I did. Um, so yeah, he, I'm jumping on topic to topic. So this is the area that the butcher actually attacked and he was chopping this meat over here. So behind here is some barrels and stuff. So you can just leap down here. So yeah, why, not, why make things harder for yourself if you can do the easy way ro route? Easy route, I guess. But, as I said, the Capra Demon, for example, is uh, an ex uh, exception. Mainly because, uh, for Let's Play purposes, um, I want to show you guys what some bosses look like and stuff like that. So, even though I would like to speedrun some of the stuff, I'm not able to, if that makes sense. So yes, here we are. Um, you can actually just do this to the boss. Yeah, he doesn't do anything at all. Just keep on hitting him with a bow. And he will die. It's quite easy actually. Kind of something I, like, I think it's on purpose made this way, of course. But at the same time, it kind of uh, feels like it's a uh, design flaw. There you go. Boost body. Humanity. I actually skipped a shield. There's a shield up there. Totally forgot it was there. But we'll get it soon enough. Um, for now, what I kind of want to do actually is clear that area. But oh well. Let's just continue on here. Into this area over here. We are not human, I think. Nope, here, actually. Uh, so yeah, this area, uh, when you first come here, uh, you will be confused. Can I drop down there? Uh, but yeah, you can. Just drop down here. And you'll end up over here. Quite easy, actually. And we will run past everything. over here and open a shortcut again one of those things why Dark Souls 1 is such a good game alright I will not go to the bonfire yet even though maybe I should I want to go get the item on the ledge so that you guys know what it is um, there are things I won't be collecting or areas I won't be looking at because they don't they aren't that important but of course if there's like a weapon on the ground somewhere and it's just laying there uh, I'd rather pick it up right there and then and probably go back to it if possible like this one right here I'm going back to um, 
I'm not even sure if it's a shield. I think it's a shield. But yeah, uh, unless I'm like, uh, unless I'm not totally sure, like yeah, spider shield. Um, how should I say this or lay it out for you? I know most of the things that the game has to offer on items on different areas and stuff like that. Um, so if I see an item <laughs> somewhere, I will probably go and get it, mainly because I know what it is. So yeah. But if I don't go get some item, I know what it is. I still know what it is, but I just haven't got the time or even bother to go and get it, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Not to lengthen this episode any longer, or just running around in circles. I'm not going to go much further. Should I just... Yeah, I should actually. I should do it that way. I was actually thinking if I should go back to Firelink Shrine now, but I rather do it this way because it's not that hard to do it this way. So yeah, if you want to farm some twi Twinkling Titan or not Twinkling but Green Titanite, you can farm these blobs, but it's very rare drop. So, yeah, I actually have gotten like one in my uh, 200 tower let's play, or not let's play, but uh, playthrough. And if you want to farm humanity, uh, kill the rats, uh, just grind them, that's the way you do it. Alright, what else, what else do we have any? I might have a couple of... Fire bombs and yeah, nothing else of worth mention. All right, luckily the green blob thingies here won't go to the ground. But instead, apparently, the rats will kill you. Apparently the rats will kill you. That's embarrassing. That's actually really embarrassing. The rats actually killed me. Alright, they are, they are very annoying. That much I can tell you. If you get staggered, um, and you will get staggered by them. Cause it's like one hit stagger every single hit. Um, you just need to be careful. And use your shield properly. No, I'm actually using the shield more than I was expecting to be using, but whatever, I guess. Just go here. Be careful. Wait for the attack and hit. And don't lose stamina like I did. Alright, retrieval. Yay! And there's a rat that I want to kill. I want to kill you. God damn it. Alright. Now is the point in game. Oh, right. We are not human. God damn it. All this trouble and we are not human even. Oh my god, that's actually a blob. <laughs> All of a sudden my screen is like... Here's poop! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh man. Alright. Um, I'm not going to go through with this. Uh, I have 13,000 souls, even though it's not much. Um, I kind of want to get rid of, rid of them before anything. So what I will do... Well, I should actually probably upgrade. Maybe I should just level up. Since we have 13,000 souls. Um, Alright, how many attunement slots? We have two attunement slots. Uh, that should be enough, for sure. Um, and then we will put 
a lot in vitality. Alright. That's fine. Um, can we repair something useful? I'm just gonna repair everything, I guess. Since we are here. And the thief thing is here. And then we will reverse following. And I will actually also kindle this bonfire so that you guys know what kindling means. And that's kinda something that's lore based, very, very lore based actually. Um, I will actually use a twin humanity here. Um, like that. So, kindling is kind of like you offer humanity to the bonfire, you offer the humanity to the bonfire, and it will kindle, it will make the flame stronger. And this is something that really intrigues me. Mm. Um, well, it's the truth, basically. Uh, the flame is fading at the moment. And uh, the flame is also the same flame that is on the bonfires. Basically, every flame is just fading away. And you can boost that flame with the humanity. But because humans have a curse on them at the moment, humans aren't using humanity to reinforce the flame itself anymore. They are actually using the humanity on themselves to ke uh, to keep their own humanities, to keep themselves alive. So the flame is fading because of that fact. So that's a little fact for you guys. Oh my god. There's actually a humanity over there. I want that. Humanity, as I said. This blob thing is are just ridiculously stupid enemies. Of course, they have a quite uh, strong attacks. But yeah. Alright, let's go over here. And we'll probably be invaded. Right now we will get invaded. There you are. Backstab you. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Oh my god, I'm not doing any dam damage unless I backstab him. All right. Oh my god. Backstab. That's the way you do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dark Spirit Knight Kirk has been vanquished. And we get humanity. And a barb straight sword. Yay. This area I totally hate. Alright, let's just do it. Since we are making quite nice damage towards the basilisks. Um, so yeah, we can manage this area, I think. Most likely. Alright. Just st stay calm and productive. Go forwards and backwards. Can I target these? Nope. But I probably can attack them. Haha! Ha ha! Soul of a nameless soldier.
Yay. Alright. Sorry my commentary is kind of lacking. These guys drop the Eye of Death. Um, if you want to farm those, you can. And we will see our first cursed enemy. Or, not enemy, but player. So if you get cursed, these statues will become or appear here. So someone has been cursed and these guys curse you. So that'll be a thing to know about that. Alright, our curse is kind of high. Try to keep that in check. Again, one appeared. Those guys, he should be coming here. Probably. Apparently he's just lagging there. Alright. Keep lagging. I'll go over here. Since I can. Haha. <laughs> and apparently I fl fell down. Where did I fall down? Alright, here. Ring of Evil Eye. Uh, I will actually equip it. Right away. Uh, absorbs Hobe from hate Hobe. That's finish for you, HP. From fallen enemies. And then we are kind of trapped. In here. Great. Great, great, great. Luckily these guys can f see behind them, so you can just surprise attack them. Apparently there's another one. So yeah. Kinda easy enemies here. Now there's three of them. But they are all facing backwards, so you can just kill them. Like this. Yay, we did it. We did the whole area. And we didn't get cursed. Cause I'm amazing. Cause I'm amazing. But there's one area that we didn't get to because... Because of the stupid... God damn it. How do we even get past that one? You need to jump. I think rolling is enough. What the heck happened to you? You got cursed like in midair or something. That's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Roll. Alright. Rolling is enough. Get the humanity. I knew it was going to be a humanity. But I still wanted to go and take it. Because humanity is so awesome. Alright. This episode is kind of like here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like if possible. Um, comment on below what do you think about um, this Kirk character that we um, who, who inv invaded us so promptly promptly what do you think about him or a rat I'm gonna actually I'm just not going to um, end the episode yet I will actually talk to an NPC which is this one over here I shall be an NPC I'm Don of Zeno I'm just a rat, a peddler of sorts I adore trinkets and oddities so I trade for them haha <laughs> so you can buy gold pine resin from him, I will buy one um also, crystal straight sword and other crystal great sword, I guess. Also, he sells boss boss um, armors. So if you beat the mm. boss, he will. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade of anything. So I'm willing to share this empty. If you seek anything in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repair the reassembling skeleton. Haha. Uh -huh. That's actually quite neat. Uh, that he actually tells you this, that if you go to Catacombs, you can use Divine Blessings. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. 
All right, that's it. Uh -huh. That's actually actually quite a neat cause. I was wondering, like, how do you actually get uh, get that information? Like, is is it off game somewhere? Like, people just got the idea that maybe divine weapons would work, but huh, that's actually quite quite nice that he actually says it. Even though he's like totally a random character that actually just sells you boss uh, armors. However, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Again, leave a like, comment down below what you think about Kirk, the whoever his name was. Let, we'll check out the item description here. Pop straight sword where is it there you are and it is the choice weapon of infamous dark wraith kirk also known as the knight of thorns for the gnarly spikes of his favorite weapon so yes kirk the i forgot his name whatever his kirk what do you think about him why is he invading us and why did we kill him Whatever. See you guys on the next one. And bye bye. Actually. Actually, I want to do this. Bye bye.